Big B's Daily Vlogs. As we take a look at the Pacific, the nice, beautiful blue ocean, it's time to get this started. Welcome everyone, it's my daily vlog channel, Eric B's Daily Vlogs. Past two days showed you little areas of San Francisco that a lot of people visit. Let's make it a third day. This is another area that I'm at where a lot of people visit just to check out the ruins. Thanks to our 24th mayor, Adolf Sutro, I am at the ruins of Sutro Baths. Right here, the western tip of San Francisco. Not that long ago, I was over there amongst those trees at the Sutro Heights Park. Today, I'm across the street because we're gonna go down there and check out the old ruins of the bass. But first, check this out. They have a little gift store right here, Lands End Lookout, but it's closed. But over here, they have a little brief history of this whole area. Those are old pictures of what the bathhouse used to look like. Saltwater bath, so they didn't have to fill it up. The ocean did it themselves. Uh, they had to make a tunnel to go through. There is a tunnel down there. We're gonna go check out that tunnel, how it looks now. This is what the area looks present time, but how it goes back to what it used to look like back in the days. And then over here, they have a scale model. Pretty cool model right here of what it looks like. Check that out, that's cool. This right here is the bathhouse. This right here is Sutro Heights Park where I was the other day. And if you look really close, look, look, Look really close, really close. You'll see me standing right over there, pointing my camera down at this model. But how cool is that? Little cool model of the area. Let's go walk down the stairs. Let's go check this out. From up here, you can see the old ruins of what the bathhouse used to look like. Cliff House, right over there. Seal Rock, right over there. And right here, Sutro Baths itself. So we're gonna make our way down. Back in the days when we were younger, we used to call this area Cat's Eye. Only because there's caves down there that kind of resembles two Cat's Eyes. Not sure if they closed it to the public. We're going to go check it out. Point Lobos area as well. You got a little trail over there that takes you down to Land's End. They got the Land's End Labyrinth down there as well. Not going to take you there today. That's going to be saved for another vlog then over here you get the tai chi masters pretty cool pretty cool here's a brief history of peoples of the coast before the men came over from spain to conquer the united states you have some native americans here Pretty cool. Now, it wouldn't be a trip without going down some stairs. And yes, I said I'm gonna come all the way down here today. So we're gonna make it down the stairs. On the way down, check out these old trees. Looks like they're dead. The only reason why you can tell they're dead is they're white and there's no leaves around them. But they're still standing. And we're still headed down. You can see more of the ruins from down here. Brief history. This was privately owned by the man himself, Adolf Sutro. Built in 1896. Right, right here in this whole area, you can see right here. 
exact date, March 14th, 1896 is when they opened this to the public. Um, and yeah, after a while, corrosions, everything started, you build something near an ocean, it starts to corrode and as you can tell, look at all, all the corrosions that's happening right there. But look at that, like I said, you can still see some of the ruins. Some of the old remnants of what used to be here. This whole, just imagine this whole area had a dome over it. And inside the dome, where that big water is right over there, were little, were little pools. Down there, right there, right there, is where the cave is. We're gonna go head down there, see if it's open. See, they have these wooden stairs that I just came down from. They have this pathway if you want to come up from the cliff house area over there. But now we got to take the rest of the road or the, the path that's paved. There's people down there. We're going to go keep going down. There's a couple areas up here as well. Up here, there's a little lookout right there. Little area right there as well that used to be part of the towers. But there's people going down to the caves. So I'm probably going to wait till they're done. We're going to go up this way. We're going to go up this trail right here. Six people going in a cave. I am not, not cool with. Let's keep walking here. From this view you can see, again, old remnants of the bathhouse. Just just imagine, just think, you're here, you're swimming, you know this pool wasn't heated, you know it wasn't heated at all, but just think, you're here, you want to go swimming and you hear the sounds of these crashing waves. That's cool. That's cool. But we're going to keep walking up, this way. Looking at this building from top, looks like... It had a bunch of different rooms. Not sure what that could have been. I'm gonna have to look at the old pictures just to see what that could have been. As we come to an opening, the opening part of the top, you got the, the bathhouses right up here. Look at that beautiful view. You got the sounds of the crashing waves. The entrance to the cave is right below us right there. So we're gonna make our way down there in a minute. But there's something here in a rock formation, not in this direction, out towards the, the ocean that I want you guys to see, but look at that plane, seaplane. Take me wherever you're going. Take me with you. I'll probably head out to the Farallon Islands, but look how open this area is. Check it out. Check out how open this area is. We are beneath the caves of Sutro. But check this out. You got more stairs. Take you up the coastal trail, it says right there. But this is one area that unless you hike or walk here, you are not gonna notice this is here. Check that out. You got the Pacific right there. And if I zoom in just enough, right there, you see the tip of the northern tip, northern end of the Golden Gate Bridge. This time it's the Golden Gate Bridge, not the Bay Bridge. But check out how crazy, crazy these waves are. The way, the, the cave that I want to go to ends in a little beach and sometimes when it's high tide it's going to be a little tricky going in there but man, check this out. Everyone who lives in San Francisco, live on a coastline, take advantage, go to the beach every now and then, check out the ocean waves. But I want you guys to see something. Check this out. You got Cliff House right over there. 
and everybody sees Seal Rock right over there, then you have this rock formation right over there that has a hole right inside it. It's pretty cool because you can't tell from when you're standing at a uh, cliff house, you can't tell that it's there, but it's there. And if you look close, let's see if I can, can see if you can see them, but if you look really close, let's see, they're not there. Sometimes they have seagulls, sometimes they have sea lions sitting on the rock. That's why they got the name Seal Rock. Let's see if they're over on this rock right here. Nope, I don't see them. But listen to the sound of the waves. Crashing. They closed this area off, off limits. Used to be stairs. Well, the stairs are still there. You can go all the way down, or you can go to this little lookout point right here, right there. But he closed it down, probably for our safety, but we're going to make our way back down because we're going to go to those caves. Let's check out those caves. At some point up here, there used to be some kind of building. You can see the man-made brick wall, and if you look up there as well, there's some kind of man-made something. But through the years, through the corrosion, through the salty air, it's been gone. Now this is cool little adventure within the city. San Francisco again, like I said yesterday, has a lot to offer. I've only showed you guys, I would say, 5% maybe of what San Francisco has to offer. I haven't showed you guys everything yet. I showed you guys the little secrets, the little gems. Now I'm going to try to show you guys the big tourist attractions, what brings people here to San Francisco. But I'm going to show you guys. Someone said the other day, get on a cable car. You showed us a cable car at your Lombard video. Get on a cable car. I got to pay for a cable car. I don't want to. So this is free. So this is what you're going to see for now. Let's go down these caves. Go check it out. All right, going to go down this embankment, which is a little steeper. Luckily, I'm wearing my trail shoes but now I got to put on some brakes as I make my way down I'm gonna check out that area in a minute I want to see what that is see if I can get up there it doesn't look like it's that high but down here again just imagine imagine what it used to look like back in the days you had this big dome covering this whole thing right here people swimming, the sounds of people having fun, enjoying themselves. This right here was right here was probably full of water and now it's just algae. But we're going to make our way down this way. Right here. This is where we're going to go. So you have two caves. One cave right there that takes you back to the other side. And there's one cave right here and then now that I remember it back where I was when I was up here at the top there used to be another cave up there that was just a dead end it led you nowhere but we're gonna take our adventure inside and if I'm right that's kind of creepy because now I see somebody walking with a cloak You guys can see there's somebody over there. Yeah, I'm gonna make my way through. You got parts of the area right down here. You can look down as well. You guys aren't going to try to scare me, are you? <laughs> okay. And then again, you got some openings right in here. 
Looks like it is high tide. You guys are real, right? It's puddly over here, so I'm not going to make my way all the way, but you used to be able. Oh, you know what? Let's go ahead. See, this opens up, and you used to be able to go all the way down. You used to be able to go all the way down that way and go check out the beach and the rocks, but they closed it. They closed it. We're gonna make our way back. Let's go make our way back this way. Is dead end? Dead end, yes. All right, making our way back out. Here they come. Go scare them. Two people right here hiding. Again, you got the opening down here. And it looks like someone went down there to have a little bonfire. We're headed back out. Headed back out. All right, I survived. I'm coming out. There's people in there. You can probably see them. They're trying to scare each other. She had the cloak on. He was banging chains. When you're walking here alone in the dark, it freaks you out just a little bit, but we're done. So this is the cave that actually went through. If you guys saw the old pictures, there used to be railroad tracks that ran up and down here because they wanted to build more on the other side. But that's all gone. We're back this way. A lot of people's venturing out over there, walking across the little path. So guess what? I guess I'm gonna do it too. Before I cross over, I said I'm gonna go look at this area right here. But it looks like there's other people trying to hide in here as well. So I wonder if having, they're having some kind of adventure thing going on today. I'm trying to freak people out. See, she's standing right there. Another one. This area? Looks nice, looks like it used to be. I'm not sure what it used to be. Here we have the ghost hunters. The people who are ghost hunting. And whoever this person is who tagged this building in 2018, shame on you for tagging such a beautiful place to visit. That's a tranquil place. And look at this old brick. It used to be some kind of, these are old bricks. These are bricks from the 1800s. And look at that. It's gone. It is gone. Our adventure is going to continue. We're going to head down that way. Look at that. You don't want to step in that. But this pathway over there, it's a little, little narrow. So I'm walking with the greatest of ease because if I fall, I'm in there or I'm in there. And who knows how deep that is. And whoa. Indiana Jones hole. We gotta go over the hole. All right, I made it over. All right, I came over here. This little opening right here. This is part of San Francisco history. The way, the walk back over that direction to where you see the birds and to that little area over there. It's a little more it's a small walk, so I'm not going to walk over there, but over here, check out the ruins. Like I said earlier, you got the ruins, you got more from up there, and this whole area of just bathhouses, that's kind of scary. And I just saw something move in the water, so I'm going to step back, step back in the middle. Whoa, that just creeped me out. There's something moving down here. Something moving. But look at that guy. He's a brave guy. Like I said, that narrow, that path was narrow. Just as narrow as this path right here. I am not gonna walk down that path. Sorry, not today. 
not feeling that adventurous today, but man, I was just talking to that lady right there. And we we're talking about how beautiful this place is and how tranquil it is to be here. You see, as I zoom up, what used to be an old something, something. You can tell from the way that that structure is right there, where that guy is standing. Where do you go? Right in that area where he's walking or she's walking. That probably used to be the entrance to these bathhouses because look at all the pillars that are up there. That had to be some kind of entrance because there's a lot of pillars. Then down here was the actual bathhouses itself. Pretty amazing. Pretty amazing. See from down here you can see those stairwells that I said they closed down. That is not open to the public anymore. That goes down to the other cave. And then that's the cave that I came from. And again, up there, you see where that little, that little brick thing is right there? Underneath that used to be another cave that used to just go straight in. And it ended up as a dead end. But it's gone. They closed it. They closed it. How beautiful. San Francisco history, right here. I'm standing right in the middle. Not in the middle, because the middle is out towards the water. But what used to be a remarkable place to look at. Again, I look at pictures, I look at how it used to look like, and I just cannot imagine this whole area where I'm standing right now. It used to be covered in the dome. It used to have people jumping into the water. Can't imagine that place is so right now it's decrepit it's run down you can see tetanus everywhere that's sticking out with metal but man at one point this was the place to visit this was the place to be at every weekend I bet you everyone said let's go to Sutro Baths and this is where everybody was Sutro Baths and man I just keep looking around and like I said all the areas all the stuff that was here all the things that used to be is gone but the remnants remains we always got to live off history right history is the only way we could remember what happened in the past which is pretty cool all right now to walk back that way but i think i'm gonna do what that lady did she walked down this way because it was against the wall that's what i'm gonna do look at the old rebar that's in this old part of this wall right here. Again, 100 years of tetanus. Creepy. As I take one last look at what used to be probably one of the most prettiest things to see in San Francisco, a site that was probably, probably, I would say not probably, probably was the best place to visit when you're coming here for the weekend. Sutro Baths. I unfortunately got to walk back up that way. So the next time you hear me, I'll be catching my breath. Here we go. See, they're braving it, walking across over there. They're braving it. They're going across the whole thing. Me? I can't do that. I'd have to start from the other end and come over there. That area, she's running. One of them girls is running. No thanks. I'm okay. I'm okay. Incline ahead. This right here, I'll tell you right now, this is worse than stairs week. Now remember why it's taken me this long to come back here. Again, what a beautiful sight up here. Beautiful sight. This guy, Adolf Sutro, he did a lot for San Francisco. A lot. Sutro Tower, Sutro Bath, right up there in that area. He had his house, called it the Sutro Heights Park. And again right here. Right here. The one thing 
I wanted to show you guys. If you ever visit, you see that little rock right there? There's one way there. That is that little beach or little walkway right there where I'm showing you guys. It's low tide. And the only reason why I can tell you it's low tide, when it's high tide, that's covered. I've seen so many people go up there, hang out at the rocks, have a couple beers, and then realize that tide's coming in by the time they try to come out that's underwater so be careful be careful and you remember that rock that I showed you guys from above that had the hole that's the rock right there you can't see it from here which is pretty cool pretty cool and in case you guys are all wondering how it got the name seal rock yes because these rocks does have seals that sits there and hangs out. But from this view, if you look at that one rock right there, and you see that little rock next to it, to the right, what does it look like? It looks like a seal, right? Something you probably didn't know. That's how we got the name, Seal Rock. Now, the pain and suffering continues. Someone did mention when I did stairs week, you know they got these stairs over at Sutro Baths. I said, yes, I do know, and I'm not gonna do it because I wanted to save it for this video. And here comes the out of shape vlogger coming up these stairs. Almost there, almost. All right, I made it to the top. It's windier up here than it was down there. But one last look at what used to be Sutro bathhouses. It's now the ruins of Sutro baths. But man, again, try, and I'll keep saying it, try to imagine what it used to look like and you had the view of the Pacific right behind it. Love it. All right guys, that is it. My legs are burning, my lungs is breathing heavy. But again, parts of San Francisco that I know a lot of people, you, a lot of you guys know, but check out that view. Check out that view beautiful view up here even if you're not coming up here to look at Sucho bath you're not up here to look at the bath houses you're just up here to check out the view of the bay it's a good view up here it's a good view up here you met some nice people down there who, who are trying to scare people which is cool scared me it worked you guys got me good but this view right here you got the cliff house Sucho Heights Park where we were a couple weeks ago you got the Sutro Baths, thanks to the man himself, Adolf Sutro. If it wasn't for him and his generosity, winning or finding silver up in Reno, up in Nevada, he wouldn't have come back to San Francisco, wouldn't have given us Sutro Baths, Sutro Heights Park, Sutro Towers. We wouldn't have gotten none of that if it wasn't for Adolf Sutro, a 24th mayor of San Francisco, something that you guys should know. Who's our 24th mayor of San Francisco? Adolf Sutro. Thanks to him, we have all these things that we can go check out, like the Sutro baths. All right guys, thumbs up for this video. I walked all the way down there to show you guys what's down there. Risked my life, almost saw a ghost almost saw a ghost I had a good conversation with them they're really nice people they apologized for scaring me and I said no as long as you guys weren't real you, yeah, as long as you guys were real that's all I cared about and they were so nice nice adventure today guys nice adventure I've always wanted to hit this spot and I got to come here when it's not busy not a lot of people yet thumbs up again if you stumbled onto my channel 
Don't forget to subscribe. Don't need to hit the bell icon because I upload a video every day. Every day at 8 a.m. Come on to my channel, Eric, Eric B's Daily Vlogs. Just come on here, subscribe, and then watch the video. I try to keep my videos short, but being that today was a little more detailed videos on what I want to talk about, it's going to be a little longer. So I apologize to you guys who likes the short videos. This is going to be a little longer video. I'm done. I'm going to go home. I'm going to relax. Thumbs up again for watching this video. Like, comment, subscribe. Any other parts of San Francisco you guys want me to get out to that I already haven't been or I forgot it's there, let me know. I am working out something with Alcatraz and I am trying to figure out if I can video at Pier 39 and all that stuff. But those are places, the big tourist places, and I'm trying to get you to the areas where it's not as touristy. So if there's any other place other than that, let me know if there's some secret area that I forgot that I wasn't able to get to. Let me know if you got hookups and getting me in like churches that I can't get to. Let me know. Be more than happy to do a video in there. All right, guys. Again, I'm tired. Thanks for watching. Thumbs up for watching. Like, comment, and subscribe. Vlogs ended, guys. Go in peace. California poppy. I wonder how many fools try to pick that and try to smoke it. Shame. I made this.